In this video guide, we're going to show you how to read data from MongoDB using Pentaho's data integration. So I'm in Pentaho data integrations designer called Spoon. First thing I'm going to do is create a new transformation and drag onto my palette a MongoDB input step. And I'm going to double click to edit the properties. So I'm going to specify the database and the collection. We're using the demo data that we inserted in the um, in the how to write to MongoDB guide. I'm going to paste in my query expression. So here we're looking for uh, page transitions where the URL is first page, and we're going to order in a descending order on the count field. At this point, I can preview the data. So this is the uh, these are the documents coming back from uh, from MongoDB. You can see that the URL is first page in every case, and that they are in fact uh, in descending order by count. Okay, so I can close this. The MongoDB uh, input step is going to give us JSON documents. So the next thing that we need to do is to break those JSON documents apart to get the fields out. So I'm going to link the MongoDB input step to a JSON input step. I'm going to specify that the, um, the source is defined in a field. And that field is called JSON. And the next thing we want to do is to define the fields that are located inside of those JSON documents. And they are URL, and that is a string. We also have next URL, which is also a string. We have count is a, a number. Okay. We can now preview this to see what data we're getting out of the JSON input step. So you can see as before we've got the JSON documents and then if we scroll over we can see that the new fields we have URL, next URL and count have been uh, broken out, uh, pulled out of the document and are fields on their own now. Now that we have our fields, we can decide where we want to write this data to. We can write to uh, databases, flat files, web services, uh, cloud-based applications. In this case, we'll just do a text file output, keep things simple. So we will hook these two steps together, send the main output to my text file, double click to edit, I'm going to call this data mongodb output. It's going to get a, a txt extension. I'm going to go and pull the fields from the previous steps. We don't want to output the original JSON documents, just the fields that we've pulled out of it. And so at this point we can save our transformation before we execute it. I'm going to call it mongodb input. And now that we've saved it, we can execute. Okay, the transformation is finished. If there were any errors, we would have uh, the lines color-coded in red here, and the error message would be on the logging tab. Uh, we didn't have any errors, so we can go and look and see what data we have in, in the text file. So here's the text file we created, and inside it you can see the, the data, the rows and the fields that we pulled out of MongoDB and wrote into the text file. So you can see how easy it is to read data out of MongoDB, to pull elements out of the JSON documents, and then to output those, uh, those fields and rows to, um, to some other destination. That was a quick video guide on how to read data out of MongoDB using Pentaho Data Integration.